Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this tutorial, I will show you a trick to cut out subjects seamlessly from their backgrounds using Photoshop AI. Look at this photo. Extracting the subject from this background is really really tough. Because of its busy background, we don't have a clear separation between the subject and the background. Especially the subject here seems really really hard to separate. Even if we mask out subjects using traditional methods like select and mask, we will face some problems like rough edges, halo effect and fringes when you cut out the subject and place it against a dark or bright background. So I will show you an easy and alternative method of masking out subjects with tough hairs. Generally the hair is the hardest to work with when creating edges. First of all we need to turn the contextual taskbar because as I said we are going to use AI. Now go to window menu, click on the contextual taskbar to turn on it. Once you do that, you see a floating menu bar like this. Now select remove background. Photoshop automatically mask subject and remove background. Now to see the mask, hold the alt or option key and click on the layer mask to view it and click on again to close it. Now create a solid color adjustment layer from the options in the bottom right corner. In the color picker box, choose a 50% gray color. I will tell you later in this tutorial why we need to use 50% gray. Then click OK. Click and drag the color fill one layer and place it under layer 0. Now zoom in to see the mask edges. You may clearly see rough edges and some parts of the hair are missing and some parts are not good enough for making composites. Now we are going to fix it. Turn on quick mask mode by clicking on this icon and you will notice the active layer turns to red which means the quick mask mode is active. Now double click on quick mask to open its options dialog. Here we need to select selected areas. Both the color and opacity settings affect only the appearance of the mask and have no effect on how underlying areas are protected. So let's keep it as it is. Now click on layer 0 to make it active because it's very important that a pixel layer is chosen otherwise generative fill won't work. Now click on this to enter quick mask mode and you may notice the layer turning red. Make sure the color chips are default black and white colors. Now take a soft edge brush and paint on the area to fix it. First I will paint with black color. Painting with black increases the selected area which means Wherever you paint, it will be selected. Now let me paint with white, which is opposite to black color. Painting with white increases the masked area. Now we need to select an area. So switch back to black color again and paint on areas to select. Now when I turn off the quick mask, everything inside the opaque red color is selected. You can see marching ants. Once I have my selection, click on generate to fill. Always leave the text field blank for the first attempt. If you get any error, then type the prompt like here or any other command matching to your selection. Click on generate. You will typically have three options to choose from when you use generate to fill. But instead of fixing the rough edges, it completely generated new content, which I don't like here. We want original looking hair. We want generated content to be similar to the original shape and look. So I'm going to delete this generative layer. Click on the quick mask icon again and click on black color. We are going to change this color to somewhat closer to white to lower the intensity of the black. By doing it, this will keep the original shape and look when generating the content. So I recommend choosing a color for anything between 60 to 70 percent. In this case I will be choosing 70 percent white. Click OK. Now adjust the brush size and start painting on areas to fix. You can see the intensity of the red is reduced. Now turn off the quick mask. Everything inside the red color is selected. But the marching ants won't be visible to us because no pixels are more than 50% selected. We selected 70% so the selection edges will not be visible to us. Alright, now click on generate to fill. 
leave the text field blank and click on generate. You will typically have three options to choose from when you use generate to fill. We got the best results from the second option which is quite similar to the original hair. Now similarly let's fix other areas as well. Turn on a quick mask and paint on areas to select. Paint on the edges only like this. Now turn off the quick mask, click on generate to fill, leave the text field blank and click on generate. All three results are very good but we need to choose one so I will go with the first option. Now repeat the process again, turn on a quick mask and paint on areas to select. Now turn off the quick mask again, click on generate to fill, leave the text field blank and click on generate. I recommend you can select the variation which is close to the original image with shape and features. We got the best result from the first option. Let me fix the top of this area as well. Turn on a quick mask once more and paint on areas to select. Now turn off the quick mask, click on generate to fill, leave the text field blank and click on generate. Among three options to choose from, we got the best result from the second option. Alright, we successfully fixed the hair and now move on to fix the edges of the side part of the dress. The process is same like we have done with the hair. Turn on quick mask mode, lower the brush size by adjusting the bracket keys and make it very small and paint on the edges like this. Instead of painting, draw a line along the edge. Now turn off the quick mask, click on generate to fill, leave the text field blank and click on generate. Choose variation which has smooth edges and, and in this case the second looks good. Let's do the same for the opposite side. Turn on quick mask mode and with soft edge brush draw a line along the edges. Now turn off the quick mask. Click on generate to fill, leave the text field blank and click on generate. After inspecting all three variations, I like the second one. It seems the first and second ones are providing the best results in generated content. Okay, alright, we finished the extracting the subject from a busy and tough background. But there is a drawback here, when we choose to change different background colors, the AI generated content has a grey background, it will not provide you with a transparent layer. So that is why we added a 50% grey background in starting of this tutorial. By doing this, it's very easy to remove using select and mask tool and I don't suggest you to use black or white backgrounds because they give you a halos and fringes when removing the backgrounds. To avoid this problem, I selected a 50% grey color. Let me select all layers and right click group from layers. Let's name this group AI. Now make a stamp visible copy by press and holding Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. Now go to select menu, choose select and mask. Select overlay view mode, click on select subject. Click on refine hair. Now scroll down to output settings. You can use this decontaminated colors option to remove any fringing or you can leave it as it is. I think you don't require it as we fixed everything and we don't see any much of halos and fringing in grey backgrounds. Now set output to new layer with layer mask and then click ok. And we are done here. Let me hide this group. Now change the color to your liking. You can change the color background color to white or black, change it to any color to your preference. If you don't want any background, you are swapping out backgrounds or making composites, simply hide this color fill layer and save it as a transparent .png file. 
that's it guys let me let me place the original photo here to see the difference okay here is the before and after photoshop betas generative fill has been a great tool for creative photo editing and for everyday tasks like masking out subjects it is really helpful in making composites or switching out backgrounds i hope you like this trick if you want to learn more photoshop tips tricks and techniques remember to subscribe and turn on notifications please like share and comment i will see you guys in my next video take care happy editing